what's going on you guys so big news um, a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for it I kind of hate myself for it but I think it's gonna be really sick by the time it's all said and done so but I bought another motor for the OBS yes I know I already have that small block 350 that you guys saw me pick up a while back but changed my mind on it so we're on our way there to go see it already I picked it up about four days ago five days ago so we're gonna go take a look at it I uh, started filming this video already and then just stopped so I'm just restarting I didn't get very far I got like maybe an intro in to the video and stopped filming that day I don't think the guy really wanted to be filmed so but we're gonna go uh, take a look at this motor so in fact here it is right here <laughs> So yes, as you guys can see, not a small block 350. And I know in the video of me saying that, oh, I'm never going LS, blah, blah, I wanna keep it nice and I won't go LS no matter what anybody says. For, oh, why didn't you go LS and all this stuff? Everybody goes LS. Everybody goes LS in these trucks. I don't want to be everybody. I want to do shit differently. Okay? That's why I didn't do it. Well, guess what? That's still true. Because this is not an LS. This right here is an LT motor out of a 2016 Silverado. I think the guy said it had just under 120,000 miles on it. So, I mean, for a 5.3 LS or LT, that's pretty good. Um, this is not a uh, port injection, this is direct injection, um, that's another main difference, um, kind of weird, this is my first time ever really even seeing an LT in person, this whole thing, all the way over is your water pump, from there to there, that's wild, but yeah, not only did I get the motor, obviously got the engine harness and the ECM. And I also got the fuse box, um, the MAF sensor. This is a uh, harness to get rid of the DOD delete, I do believe. And then I forgot what this one was for. I'm sure I'll end up using all of it. But pretty good deal. I got it all. So, and that, obviously, is for the OBS. Um, as you guys know, or may know, I one of my last videos I said that it was quite possible that I did blow the head gaskets. Well, I've pretty much verified that. Um, leaking coolant out of the collector, blowing coolant out of the exhaust, um, pulled out the spark plugs, they also shines of head gasket, um, did a little uh, combustion leak tester, and that's showing signs of head gasket. So at this point, yes, I could replace the head gasket and just drive it, but I think for now this is going to be parked. Um, and this is going to be its home for a while. Um, I should be able to use my exhaust that I have on it, obviously, besides the 
long tube headers. So if anybody wants a set of long tube headers for this, um, I'll probably be posting them on my Instagram whenever I get ready to sell. It won't be soon, it won't be anytime soon. But when I do get ready to sell them, I will post them on my Instagram, so I'll link that down below um, if you guys are interested in that. And just in case anybody's wondering, the small block 350 that I did buy a couple videos back, I do still have that. It's actually still at the machine shop. I just haven't went and picked it up. Um, it's bored a 30 over, so it's a 355 block. Um, I will be selling that as well. Um, and pretty much all this, just heads, cam intake, got extra fan, extra motor mounts, broken cam, just toss that. But AC compressor, alternator, power steering, starter, uh, full TBI system. So anything that you guys uh, may need for the, one of these OBS Chevys, let me know. Um, don't know what I'll be doing with the factory motor. I think I'm still, no matter what, going to end up fixing it just so I can put it on an engine stand. And just that way I have the factory motor with me. Um, don't know why I'll ever need it, but it's just kind of something cool to have. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is the new news. A lot of people are going to hate it. A lot of people are going to like it. But it is what it is. It's not their truck. It's mine. So they could deal with it if they don't like it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today. It's a really short video. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I do have a new motor with me now. So yeah, um, if you guys want to see me LT swap a 88 Silverado, uh, subscribe, I guess. Um, it's going to be a long process, but I think it's going to be fun. And um, I'm going to be, do, be doing a couple of things. Probably not much right off the bat. Probably just do the do a cam and a, the DOD delete. Um, and that's pretty much it before I throw it in. But long term goals, an LT4 blower would be pretty sick. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, follow along. I will be posting more about this updating more as time goes on. I get more parts and Everything for the swap. So peace out. Thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video and uh, I'll see you guys next week